Good day, First World Travellers, and welcome to Hell Week. I'm currently in an unknown location, and over the last seven days, I've travelled across five countries. Yes, this might seem completely insane, it probably is, but the reasons for that will become apparent over the course of the next three videos. So for a while now, I've been wanting to do some vlog-style videos detailing the realities of travel life. It's not always perfect, and after all, I am the traveller that tells the truth, of course. Additionally, I wanted to give you a bit of an insight into the life of a travel YouTuber. Many people say to me, oh, you're on holiday. I'm not on holiday, this is effectively a job. So I wanted to give you an idea of the work that goes into it and the effort and the planning. So without further ado, let's get started on Hell Week. Let's go. So here we are at Hell Week, day number one. I am at Kansai International Airport in Osaka in Japan and I'm on my way to Busan, Busan in South Korea. It's really hot, I've had to get the um, subway, get another train and then get a free shuttle bus to Terminal 2. So um, yeah, like I said, it's only an hour fly, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm only in Busan for a couple of days. Um, the reason I'm going there, I wasn't planning on going there, I'm going to Shanghai but it's cheaper for me to get a flight to South Korea stay there for a couple of days and then get a flight to Shanghai. It's just one of those things, that's how it works sometimes when you're traveling, you have to be a bit inventive with your route. So I'm through security now, happy days, and like I said at the beginning of this video, I wanted to give you a bit of an insight into the life of a long-term traveler and also a YouTuber. So I have my laptop, I have that, so I've been doing this for almost 10 months now. I think I'm coming into my 10th month, and it's literally just like a constant cycle of editing, filming, planning, researching, and actually doing stuff and remembering sometimes that you still have to have fun because you are traveling. So at the moment I have three videos from Osaka to edit. By the time you watch this, you would have seen those already because I have a schedule I upload on a Monday, Wednesday and a Saturday. Um, and pretty much the next three weeks worth of videos are planned out. A lot of YouTubers don't do it that way, but I do. do I've arrived in South Korea it's baggage time you know one thing that hasn't happened on this trip once is my bags were missing and once I had to happen twice in one two-week trip so um, I'm gonna get my baggage go back to go and find the hostel so I'll get in the subway to the hostel by the way things I do before I get to a country travel tip familiarize myself with the currency download a subway app that I can use offline get the route up before I go and screenshot it just in case it doesn't work offline and that's pretty much it. There's probably other things, I'll mention them as I go along. Well, my first job in an airport is um, to get money out. So there's always that heart attack moment when you go to use an ATM, will it swallow my card? Will it let me have money? Um, one of the things about ATMs in Japan and Korea is um, you have to find one that's global, the one that will take foreign cards. Japan, it's an absolute nightmare. I didn't have that problem last time because I didn't have a bank card. I don't exchange money, by the way. Um, I don't understand why people do that. Um, I get enough money out to last me in that country and make sure I spend it all before I go, quite simply. Wonderful. Well, I'm going to find a hostel now. Suitcase is winding me up the wall. And I'm looking for the subway, but there's no signs for the subway except light rail so luckily i've looked up on maps me another app and seen that it's just down the road so fingers crossed good day all right i'm knackered that was the nightmare trip from hell I'm out of breath. My wrists are becoming muscly wrists, having to drag the suitcase around. So the uh, Busan subway is a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. The thing I 
miss about Japan is that everything's in English and here it's not, well it is, but it's not so much, you know, total nightmare. So, uh, finally got to Busan and now I've got to find my hostel. See, this isn't like all those travel videos that are all like beaches and drones, it's reality. That's what I'm doing with my channel, showing you the real life of travelling. So welcome to Hell Week, day two. I'm um, going to 7-Eleven to get something to eat. The one thing about 7-Elevens in Korea, they're not, they're nowhere near Japan standards. I'm sorry, but they're not. Even the sandwiches are awful. Um, so I'm probably not going to eat much for the next two days. Um, today I have a multitude of things planned, so it's about midday. I didn't sleep very well last night, as always. Woke up five times. Um, so I'm exhausted and in a bad mood. So um, I'm going to edit a video this morning this morning, this afternoon, and later on I'm going to go out to do three things for my five things to do in Busan and film that video. I've also got to edit, not edit, I've also got to uh, book my accommodation for Shanghai, which should be fun because apparently the hostels are awful. So, um, I'll see you in a bit. So I'm back from the shop, one of my last videos, I got a comment because I was smoking. Well, this is for you, Linda, I'm smoking again. Happy days. So I got this, basically, let me just put my cigarette down. One moment. I've, okay, I've eaten this one. One thing about Korean 7 Elevens, they do great beef jerkies. Um, and you buy two, get one free. They're about £2 each. So that's not bad. £6, three meals worth. Yes, I'm counting this as a meal. Backpack alive. And lastly, just on things to do videos. So I've done a lot of these before. So Tokyo, Sydney, Adelaide, etc. And they're actually my most popular videos. So Tokyo is my number one top video for views. And Adelaide's number three. The only thing about them is they take so long to film, so my one in Sydney took five days. It's just not possible to do ten things in one day, especially when the locations are dotted around different ends of the city. Um, luckily with these ones, the three that I'm doing today are quite close together. I can go to one subway station and just walk to the other two, so job done. This is editing life. So I'm out again. Here's just a point that really pisses me off and drives me up the wall. It's about booking accommodation especially in countries like Japan, Korea, and now China. So, sexism is rife. And you may think I'm talking about sexism towards women. No, it's towards men. So, every time I try and book a hostel on Hostel World, it's either female only, or they're female only rooms and mixed rooms, so men can go in them, but the female ones are cheaper. Why, why, why are they cheaper? I fail to understand. Just because a woman has a vagina? You know, yeah, there's that bollocks about people groping people and religion who cares about that it's not fair well, I'm spending a lot of time in this road I'm going out filming now it's um 5 40 p.m. and I'm going to investigate three areas of Busan as I said earlier I've got bad things happening in the toilet this is why I don't eat in Korea much um, it help if I had an appendix I'll tell you about that story in another video which explains why I'm a fussy eater that's a good idea for a video. Yeah, I'll do that soon. So I just filmed a very simple section for um, my Busan video about how to get the subway. And as per usual, it took about eight attempts to do it because A, I keep messing up. And B, Korean people are very curious. The amount of people are photobombing in the back just distracted me. That's one thing that's really annoying. So you might think a video is put together really quickly, but actually each shot can potentially, you know, like I said, eight times. Ridiculous. So hello to Linda again. Um, I'm smoking again. I've just done something in this video, actually the Busan video, which you will see maybe next week. That was horrific. I'm not telling you what it is. Um, you probably guess given my history. Um, but yeah, so, but just to point out that sometimes with being a YouTuber, you often do things that you don't really want to do for YouTube because otherwise without doing it, it would make the video pointless and you do have to come out of your comfort zone when you're travelling so um, yeah, watch out for the Busan video, it's coming up So I'm done the filming for today, I'm going to continue filming this video tomorrow um, My video for tomorrow is all uploaded, ready to go, so that will be on made public, job done um, and that's it for part one of Hell Week so part two of Hell Week is coming soon. That'll be my second day in Busan and my flight to Shanghai. Good luck. I'll catch you later.